So Tales of Tenorio recently dropped their latest devlog that mostly goes over the map of Tenorio and its scale is massive as well as some things about ruptures, weather and some other stuff so let's get right into it. So starting off with the map aspect, all of the action is going to be kept to the majority of the first island on release, with some aspects of its terrain being from grassy plains to snowy tips, so I guess that kind of provides an insight on what types we might get within these various environments. As for the functionality of the actual map, you will be able to open it up in your traveling tab and, you know, look at the map in detail, zoom in and out of places, things like that, etc. Areas will have one or three icons depending on whether you visited them. Grey if they're yet to be unlocked, blue for a minor area and red for a major area, for example like a big city or something. If you hover over an area, it will show you if there's an ongoing event there, like a rupture or incense. On to forecasts. Forecasts will show you the current weather and four hours ahead of it. This doesn't show the weather in areas where it is forced, such as the cliffs in which it always snows. Whenever weather changes, an alert will also pop up at the bottom of the right corner of your screen. So, yeah, there's just kind of a weather forecast. You can obviously know what's coming next, and then it'll pop up. I'm sure if you're familiar with Lumion, it's probably kind of like that. As for this next thing about ruptures, this is going to make a lot of sense if you replied to Tales of Tenorio's tweet the other day about putting your username down, because it was for putting your NPC into ruptures. So, a lot of people, we don't know who yet, and I think it's really cool that's kept to a surprise, are gonna have their own Roblox avatar in game, which is really, really cool, and I can't wait. Ruptures now rotate who can use GR within a battle. I have no idea what GR stands for, so if you do know, please inform me in the comments. Added custom items called relics to the rupture drop pools. So this is interesting. Who knows what they'll do. And can catch is disabled by default. So basically you can't capture ordinary rupture scenarios unless it's like a special event or something. Now I'm going to be real here. I don't really like this. I think it is an interesting way of hunting if you fight ruptures and it takes away from that. But. I guess there are and will be some event ruptures where you can catch the Tenorians in them and I'm pretty sure there is one of those coming on release so at least we have that. As well as a new rupture exclusive status, Enraged, so perhaps this boosts some kind of stats or something, who knows. And last but not least, fan art. We've been adding fan art to numerous parts of the game, and such as in houses and stadiums. As for the final bit of info about the map, because this encompasses the blacked out parts in the map that I showed earlier. And Tenorio is kind of like an archipelago with there being a bunch of different islands. And later down the game, these islands, you know, you're probably gonna be able to go to them and there'll probably be a bunch of like stadiums as well as other content. But due to like how big the scale of this, I am genuinely fascinated how much they plan to do. Because if there are nine stadiums and all the, all the major areas don't count for stadiums, there's gonna be just so much on this map and it is pretty pretty good to think about because you know the amount of content we have and that's why the title of the video is what it is because this scale if we have a similar amount of just stuff to what's on northern scenario at the moment then i can't imagine how gigantic this game's gonna be and that's a really good thing Oh, and one more thing before I do close off, I do need to mention about the snowy area, because there are a few screenshots here, you know, just having a little look at various areas in the game. So two of them show like a snowy area, 
but there's like a lodge and there's like you know a tree and a big uh, bridge and yeah, just some new exciting areas of the game and there's another one of Topia looking out to the sea so yeah it's pretty pretty interesting now that is finally about everything for this video if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe as we greatly appreciate it and I will see you in another video. Bye!